most amazing illusions ever performed as David Copperfield steps into a tornado of fire, live. Good evening and welcome to Copperfield Tornado of Fire. I'm Carson Daly. We're live in New York for an amazing physical challenge so dangerous that it will be attempted one time only tonight, live. You'll see the impossible, magic in the round in front of 20,000 people. Nobody does that. And if you think these are camera tricks or special effects, it's not. See his live show and you'll see everything that you're seeing tonight, except for this. We're at Pier 94. Let's take a look inside. Now this is no illusion, no trick. David Copperfield will attempt the greatest physical challenge of his life, surviving inside a blazing 2,000 degree tornado of fire without getting burned alive. Hello, I'm David Copperfield, and I hope I do better than that guy. When I was six, I, uh, well, my family and I escaped a fire that burned my uncle's house to the ground. And ever since then, I've, I've had this uh, nightmare of dying in the fire. I found the best way to face my fears is to attack them head on. Niagara Falls, fear of drowning. Hanging 10 stories in the air, fear of heights. That's what I do, to find Mother Nature. And the most powerful force of Mother Nature is the tornado. This is real wind. An F2 tornado that can blow the roof off a house. Real fire, 2,000 degrees. The only chance of survival is to locate and stay in the core of the tornado without the fire touching you. Let's get started right now. Everybody go like this. Go like this. Everybody go like this. Go like this. Everybody. At home too. Go like this. Just like this. Thumbs down, palms out. Take one hand, put it over the other hand. Lock your fingers together and don't let go. For about a month. Keep your thumbs down. Thumbs down. Watch me. Watch me. has a perfect place. It's the place that you dream about when you're trying to escape from your problems. My perfect place is a beach on an island in the middle of nowhere. But everybody, when they're at work or at school or having problems, they'll close their eyes and picture their perfect place. Everybody try this. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Do it. Close your eyes. I'm not going to steal your wallet. And imagine yourself anywhere you want to be in the world. Really picture yourself there really feel it. Now, open your eyes. You're still here. 
but I really want to do it. Tonight, I'm going to try. I'll close my eyes and travel halfway around the world in seconds. I'm going to a little island off the coast of Hawaii. Right there. And I'm going to take somebody from the audience with me. But not yet. <laughs> Time to get cut. Whew. Thank you very much. That's our show. Good night, everybody. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Hey, guys, check this out. The coolest thing was doing it outside. The reactions were incredible. David's been conducting an extensive test for months to prepare for tonight's challenge, but as you'll see, they don't always go as planned. You've read about the accidents, you've heard about the injuries. Tonight, you will bear witness as he actually tries it live. Coming up, the greatest physical challenge of David Copperfield's career, attempting to stand in the core of a blazing tornado of fire without getting incinerated. Copperfield Tornado of Fire is sponsored by the Clorox Company, dedicated to making great products for your home. According to my analysis, we gallon-sized bleaches are bigger than ultra-Clorox bleach because we contain two pounds more water. That's why you weigh so much more. It's only water. But it's two pounds more water. Ultra-Clorox bleach whitening, without the weight. Wow. Look at the shape. Just kind of... You're one lucky guy. Go see us Wednesday. for a survey. Everybody in the audience is wearing white underwear. Raise your hand. Everybody in the audience is wearing colored underwear. Raise your hand. So everybody that didn't raise their hand. A classic of magic is to make objects change places. Right here. You're way ahead of me. Come on. Everybody. Jessica, come over here. 
step up here all the way up, face forward. I asked about white underwear. I think you raised your hand. You did. Just so we remember. Good. Your name is? Celinda. Up here, all the way up, face uh, forward. I asked about colored underwear. I think you raised your hand. Yeah? Don't tell me. Let me guess. No. No happy pants? Pull out the right one. I agree. Need your signatures. Jessica, take this pen. Write Jessica right there. J. Essica. <laughs> Dot the I. Nicely done. Celinda, take this pen. Write Celinda. S. Elinda. <laughs> Nicely done. These are labels. I need to get these labels on their underwear. No, sir, you can't help me. I can do it the hard way or the easy way. It's your choice, hard or easy. So dinner first. <laughs> Ladies, go like this. Go like this. Reach behind you and pull out just a little tiny bit, just enough for the label. Don't give yourself a wedgie. Turn around. Don't worry, Jessica, no one's looking. Look at the screen. Is that your signature? It is. We're going to stick it on there so you'll never lose them. Turn around, suck it in. Let's check out the red underwear. Ooh, a beautiful shade of red. It brings out your eyes. Probably because we're pulling too hard. <laughs> Look at the screen. Is that your uh, signature right there? That's your printature. There you go. We're going to stick it on there. Uh-huh. Stick it on there really good. Cough. I'm just kidding. Turn around, tuck it in. The object is to make Jessica's white underwear disappear and reappear on Celinda. And make Celinda's red underwear disappear and reappear on Jessica. I'm so happy. It's like the MTV Spring Break special. <laughs> Give me your hands, close your eyes, think happy thoughts. I am. It's done. You are now wearing her red underwear. You are now wearing her white underwear. That's pretty darn cool. But the hard part is to make their underwear go back. It's done. Thank you very much. Ladies, go like this. Arms up. Arms up. Don't move. I think we're going to try this one more time.
Now we're going to do that with everybody in the audience. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Your underwear has disappeared. I'll show you. Take your hand. Reach down into your neighbor's pants. Okay, they're back, but you should have checked, because now you'll never know. When you go all the way to Hawaii, you have to have a crew waiting for you, and we've got a satellite team waiting for us right now. Let's check our satellite feed. Brett, how you doing? Doing fine. We've got to find some people from the audience. At random, I'm throwing the frisbee. Hey, Brett, say hi to Andy. Hey, Andy. Andy, what's your favorite sport? Volleyball. I want you to take this pen, draw a picture of yourself playing volleyball right there. <laughs> Brett, she picked volleyball. Volleyball. Love it. That's not volleyball. That's the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> Give Andy and Brett a big round of applause. Go back to your seat. Good job. All right. That gets placed right over here. Very, very good. I need somebody else to help me out, too. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Hey, what's your name? Jacob. Give me your hand. Right this way, Jake. Right. Big hand for Jacob. Come on. <laughs> Step up here, Jacob. All the way up. All the way up. I got a very important job for you, okay? All right? Here's your job. Your job is to turn around, look at the picture, and make sure nobody touches it, all right? Cool. Show, just watch that. Good job. When I was starting out in magic, I couldn't afford beautiful assistants to levitate, so I levitate my relatives. I'm sure what I mean, but I gotta find some relatives. No. Uncle Morty! Uncle Morty, how you doing? Where's Aunt Ida? Aunt Ida and Uncle Morty, stand up, stand up, come with me, follow me. Applause, applause for Uncle Morty and Auntie Ida. Woo! Uncle Morty, how you doing? Aunt Ida. Still have that facial hair problem, I see. Have a seat in our sofa, have a seat in our sofa. We took the plastic off just for you. <laughs> Trusting relatives. Ladies, strap them in. Arms up. Hey! Ashuka. Peanut. Share. Put your nuts down. Take your hands off your nuts. That goes for everybody. Tonight we're gonna levitate you, so close your eyes, close your eyes. It's a night flight. Got a blanket for your comfort. What are you doing under there? <laughs> Remain perfectly still. Keep your eyes closed. Because the next thing that's going to happen, the next thing that you will feel will be yourselves levitating and rising in the air is the next thing that you will feel.
Marty, thank you, Aunt Ida. And a big thank you to that very large, very generous $25 bar mitzvah check. Thank you very much. to people outside in broad daylight. Oh, this is a this is nothing. Want to go again? Coming up, David Copperfield stands in the center of a 2,000 degree tornado of fire. If David gets injured during this challenge, I really think his chances of survival can be very little. The severity of burn that one can get at temperatures this high are enormous. I think this is a good example as to why he shouldn't be doing this. This is a terrible way to die. Kitchen grease, soap scum, all kinds of messes. You need power cleaning. Formula 409 has to giddy up to power through kitchen grease. It also wipes out soap scum better than fantastic. Giddy up 409. <sighs> Can I please have some of that new, I can't believe it's not butter, sweet cream and calcium? I'm afraid we didn't serve that in the mega ultra platinum flat cars. Presenting new, I can't believe it's not butter, sweet cream and calcium. With real sweet cream for a rich creamy taste. New, I can't believe it's not butter, sweet cream and calcium. Outrageously great taste. You can't fool a migraine. If the stuff you're taking doesn't treat every part of it, you've still got a migraine. That's why I take Excedrin migraine. I saw here that it's been approved by the FDA for all the symptoms of a migraine. Tylenol isn't. But if you want, give it a try. Me, I'm done fooling around. Excedrin migraine. Powerful relief. Do you ever think about the Big Bang? You know, how it all started? Like, why we're here? Yeah, like how everything came together so perfectly. The Big Bang. It's not a theory. It's a sandwich. New from KFC. The Colonel's tender white meat filet. Creamy modern jack cheese. Crispy bacon. Fresh tomato. And peppery mayo sauce. Makes you believe in a higher intelligence, huh? Whoa. The new Big Bang Bacon Melt. Original or tender roast. On this planet for a limited time only. What would you do with a little more energy? Try Grape Nut Cereal for a week and see. It's energy for living. Easter Bunny. Easter Bunny. This Easter, whack and unwrap a Terry's. The original chocolate orange. And now, new Terry's chocolate raspberry. Smashing good taste. Nature replenishes herself four times a year. We recommend six. Because the fresher your grid of filter, the cleaner your water. CBS Thursday, seven castaways left, five episodes to go. Bodies have reached the breaking point. Not having food is killer. But one challenge can take them to the finish line. If they accept an offer, they can't refuse. We've got 13 days left. I don't think they're going to make it. All new Survivor, then. Why is CSI the hottest new drama on television? I might get you for murder. Cool. Find out on CBS Thursday after Survivor. Spend Saturday with two remarkable women on CBS. First, Lydia DeLuca just won the lottery. I have never had this much money at one time. The season finale of That's Life. Then, the people who brought you Aaron Brockovich invite you to meet a new kind of hero. Someone has to stand up and do the right thing. An all-new Kate Thrasher after That's Life, CBS Saturday. Over 17,000 people die each year from alcohol-related car crashes, and another million people are injured. So please, never drink and drive. I'm 
you can try at home. All you need is some water, but you should know that this only works with crystal. That's right, this only works with crystal. <laughs> A little less water. Crystal, there he is, Crystal. That was really stupid. This is a piece of the moon. Right. It's a moon rock. You see, the moon has an important relationship to water, an amazing relationship. 